open a new file and follow the same steps and make the following model. Now double click on the generator. The first thing you will set is the generator's operating mode. A generator has four operating modes which are divided on the basis of four parameters. The voltage, phase angle, active power and reactive power. The four operating modes are swing, voltage control, MVR control and power factor control. In swing mode, the generator either supplies the remaining power or consumes the excess power. In swing mode, the voltage and the phase angle remains constant while the active and reactive power changes. For example, suppose we have 10 generators, 9 of which have a power rating of 100 kW and we have a load of 11 kW. So the generator will supply 900 watts to the load and the remaining 200 watts will be supplied by the swing generator vice versa uh, if uh, we have an excess load of 200 kilowatts the swing generator will be consuming the uh, excess load now uh, let's look at the voltage control uh, in voltage control uh, the voltage and the active power remains constant while the other two parameters may change. Suppose we have a generator of 500 kVA and an active power of 400 kW and uh, we have constant voltage. As the reactive power uh, requirement increases, the generator will increase the reactive power until the maximum capacity is reached. Here we have uh, the maximum uh, Q max equals 300 kvr which can be calculated by using s equals uh, under root of p square plus q square in mvr control the voltage changes but uh, the active and reactive power remains constant as the generator has reached uh, the maximum capacity of reactive power uh, and it cannot generate more than uh, its capacity so ultimately the voltage will decrease in power factor control uh, the power factor will remain constant if the reactive power changes uh, the generator will adjust the power active power to keep the power factor constant since we need one swing bus to run the system uh, i'm gonna leave it to swing now uh, let's set the rating uh, follow the steps as shown. Next comes the capability of generator. Consider the equation S equals under root E square plus Q square. This equation corresponds to the equation of circle with center at origin. As we know, the generator is coupled with turbine in which the turbine acts as a prime mover. The circle shows the capacity of the generator uh, in which uh, in uh, active and reactive power. If the turbine capacity is less than uh, that of the generator, the generator will not reach its uh, maximum active power capacity as the turbine capacity is less 
and it may be damaged. Clearly, the insulation of the generator may not be able to sustain the maximum generator's voltage. So, the maximum uh, reactive power will not be reached uh, due to the insulation capacity. Otherwise, the insulation may burn out. Uh, ETAP software already sets the values to some uh, values. To see where these values come from, click on the question mark. Here you can see all the values and how you can calculate them. Next is the impedance model. If you have uh, some uh, data, you can either enter it. Uh, here we are going to leave it to typical data. As soon as we click OK, the E tab uh, updates the bus connected to the generator to the 11 kV. Now let's look at the transformer model. Go to the writings uh, for transmission line. Uh, the secondary voltage will be 132 kV and uh, the MVA rating will be 50 MVA. Uh, similarly, uh, as the generator, we are going to uh, set the typical values Z and XR of the transformer and then click OK. The next thing uh, is uh, the transmission line. Double click on the transmission line. Uh, the first thing you will need to set is the length of the transmission line here uh, we will leave it to one mile go to the parameters uh, uh, we can set the conductor type uh, to aluminium or copper we set it to aluminium now go to the conductor library uh, set uh, the level the unit to metric and uh, use all aluminium alloy conductors uh, then select the Krypton one. Then press OK. Uh, now go to the conductor ground wire library. Uh, we will only have uh, one choice of English. We will set to 3 uh, number 8. Next is the configuration tab. Here uh, we will enter the height of the transmission tower. Of 40 feet, the distance between the conductors uh, is A, B, B, C, and C, A. We can change uh, the configuration uh, to uh, any type that we want. Here, uh, we will use vertical and we will set uh, uh, the spacing to 8. Number of ground wires at the top will be 1 and will be 15 uh, feet above. Now set the values for the step down transformer. Go to the ratings. Uh, will be step down to 11 kV, and the rating will be same as 50 MVA. Uh, the impedance uh, will be typical Z and XR. Now uh, let's set the values for the load. Go to the nameplate set the MVA to 5 and power factor to 80% then press OK the load flow analysis gives us the total power whether active and reactive or apparent and the current from flowing from each of the node or bus. Go to the load flow analysis tab and run load flow. At the moment it's showing us uh, the real and reactive power. Go to the display options. 
here you can set uh, whatever you want to see in your load flow I will go with amperes and power factor now it's showing us the amperes and power factor to see the units click on the unit tab now you can see amperes and power factor Uh, we have uh, four types of short circuits uh, line to ground line to line line to line to ground and uh, line to line to line in which we have uh, three types of short circuit currents sub transient transient and steady state transient sub transient uh, is a current at the time uh, at which the fault occurs which was the highest and steady state transient uh, will be the lowest after uh, reaching the steady state value go to the short circuit analysis tab and click on max for sub transient fault current it will show an error that no bus is faulted to create a fault on the bus just right click on the bus in which you want to create the fault and then click on fault now uh, let's uh, run the short circuit analysis so the max will show you um, the sub transient current will be the maximum for transient click on 4 and for steady state click on min For protection, we need three components current transformer and potential transformer to stab down uh, the voltages and currents to protect the relay from uh, damage. We need relays for decision making only whether uh, there is a fault or not, and circuit breakers uh, are used uh, to make or break the connection. In relay, we need to analyze two things the pickup and time delay pickup uh, is uh, the time taken uh, to detect any fault current and time delay decision taken uh, decision time taken by the relay to observe the nature of the current whether the fault current waveform is increasing or decreasing for example uh, let's consider mot motor starting condition uh, at the motor starting condition there will be a high amount of uh, current and the relay will take a few milliseconds point zero one seconds or some about to detect to detect whether uh, the waveform is increasing or decreasing in case of motor startup the inverse current uh, will decrease uh, quite rapidly so the relay will not uh, send signal for the circuit breaker to trip let's go to the edit tab let me just shift uh, this uh, down a bit now place a current transformer uh, in series double click on the transformer go to the waiting tab and set the primary to 300 and secondary to 5 now place an overcurrent relay double click on the relay go to the input and here you can see the transformer the primary and secondary for output uh, click on add here you can uh, set uh, the fault kind of fault you want to detect here in this case I will choose phase here you can uh, select uh, the low voltage circuit breaker high voltage circuit breaker in our case is high voltage and the circuit breaker that we want to trip is circuit breaker 1 Let's go to the OCR 
click on library and choose Siemens press ok now oh, let's set the pick time to 1.1 second to analyze this go to the star protective device coordination tab place a fault click on uh, the option and then drag and drop on the bus that you want to uh, insert a fault uh, the cross sign will show you uh, the circuit breaker has stripped to see the sequence operation click on the sequence operation tab here you can see uh, which fault occurred and uh, the tripping time taken if you have any question please ask in comments thank you for watching